Hey guys, Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I want to teach you how to convert any SSD solid state hard drive into an external hard drive. How to convert an internal hard drive into an external hard drive on the cheap, less than $10. Now, the reason you might want to use an external hard drive instead of an internal hard drive is maybe you have multiple computers and you quickly want to take files across, or maybe you've got um, you know, a friend's computer that you work with and you bring your hard drive there, or you're going into the recording studio and you want to get stuff directly onto disk, um, or maybe you've got samples across multiple computers. Um, all of these situations are ones where you'd rather have an external drive. So, the first thing you'll need is just a standard SSD, any size uh, in terms of capacity, uh, but the prices are coming down all the time. You can get a 500 gigabyte drive for like a hundred bucks these days. This is a one terabyte drive I got for like 200 bucks, more or less. I'll put a link down below. It's an affiliate link. I've loved this drive by Crucial. Fast, reliable, easy, um, and I can just get data back and forth. And then the next thing, and I've got this disassembled at the moment, but the next thing you need is just this external case by Sobrent. It's like $9. Um, and you basically can just pop the uh, SSD into the slot and then it includes, it comes with a USB 3 cable, you plug it into your computer, pull it out, plug it into another computer, and you're good to go. Now, the one thing I'll warn you is that if you're using USB 3, it's definitely noticeably slower than, um, I believe SATA, or SATA is the standard for internal hard drive mounting and communication, but a lot of computers these days are on USB 3.1, which is way faster, or maybe you've got Lightning Bolt or Thunderbolt or Firewire, probably, I don't think Firewire is a billion years old now, but there are faster standards. And so um, the type of speeds you're going to be experiencing are going to be directly limited by the input in your computer and the cabling going to that input. Okay. So, you know, you're going to want to get the fastest input that your computer will allow. All right. So to mount it, it's really easy. You take the SSD and basically um, there's a little, as you can see, a little port there matches with this guy. You lay it down, line it up, give it a little push and it slides right in and there's a little rubber bumper here at the top you probably can't see it it's the darkest part there um, and that just keeps the hard drive from bouncing around and then you take this put it on top and kind of it's harder to do it for the camera than it is to do in real life you put it on top there and then slide it down, lock it into place, and then you can hook it directly into your computer and you're ready to go. It's that easy. And they normally sell external hard drives at a huge premium. So if you use this method, you'll save a ton of money and uh, you'll be doing all that great fun external hard drive stuff. So if you've enjoyed learning how to convert an internal hard drive into an external hard drive, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.